In this video we're going to have a go at some basic surface design with a B-spline surface. We'll start out by creating a very simple surface. We'll have a look at the ways that you can edit a surface uh, and change its properties. And then we'll go through the process of creating a very simple yacht shaped surface starting out with rather than a flat sort of square we'll start with a, a, a kind of a form that's already shaped into a into a surface itself. And then we'll go through the process of editing it and customizing it a little bit more with a deck and a transom, uh, look at some of the hydrostatic properties of it. Starting out very simply, we can go to the default tool which is just to draw a rectangular B-spline surface. And once we start editing it with the F2 control we can drag around the points. Using control we can drag around a group of points. On the left, sorry, the right hand side of the screen you'll see that you can change the editing mode to look at the kind of rows and columns and if you're designing a whole surface this means you can think of it in terms of sections and longitudinal shape. You have the option to subdivide the surface to add more points. Drag individual points to create a style. Uh, we can also do that with contours as well. You can delete rows and correspondingly columns. Also insert rows. Now we're going to go ahead and make a yacht surface. Uh, we can create a simple yacht form, not really parametric, uh, but gives us a starting shape to work with. Uh, because that's quite thin, we can stretch it out a bit. And now we can go through the stages of turning this into something that resembles a kind of yacht type envelope. It's not intended to be a realistic surface, just something that shows the intent of this process. So we'll do a little bit of customization to get the tangency right along the edge to make sure that we've got kind of a flat bottom and the right incline of deck edge. And we're just working through the sections, getting things kind of tidy. As we've got a simple vertical bow, we'll turn that into a curve. It's not technically the correct way of doing it because you see we end up with a concave section there at the bow. A little bit more detailed work on the bow is needed for that. You have to know how to set up the control points correctly to to avoid getting that shape in the in the surface. It's effectively because you're flattening the surface out. So we're going to have a quick look at the hydrostatics now. We've checked the calculation sections. We can select the surface, give it a draft, look at the um, corresponding water plane. Uh, in this particular case we're going to also extract deck edge so we can look at the deck edge immersion. The deck edge needs to be named so the tool can pick this up. So there we can see that the deck edge is highlighted and now if we calculate a GZ curve you can see where the deck is immersed. We'll add on a few more angles, so 50 to 180 degrees, every stepping every 10. And now we have a complete GZ curve.
look closely there we can see that the deck edge immersion is indicated on the side of the vessel as it's rotated. We'll do a few more things now. We're going to put a bit of a curved deck on it. This option here does give you the ability to put a flat deck but this is also the automatic state with the calculation section so what we're going to do is just extend that edge to the center line and start manipulating the surface. I'm going to add a bit of curvature so I'll add an extra line and turns it into a quadratic bezier surface and then we'll start to lift the center line up. And then we'll just give it a bit of curvature along the length of the vessel. And we can also get contours on that shape as well. That will address the transom. We'll extract an edge from each of the surfaces that we have now. And we'll connect those two edges together with a ruled surface. And now we can combine all the surfaces together to create a closed volume. See, I seem to have a bit of a gap there. So we'll explode and just fix that. I've obviously tweaked one of the points too far. Of course we can have a look at our curvature. For a shape as simple as this that shouldn't be expecting to see anything too scary. You shouldn't see any lost continuity so isophotes not necessarily as important as a multi-patch surface. Gaussian curvature and the other types of curvature can also be shown.